Hi there, I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the red maple. Red maple, Acer rubrum, is the most common individual tree species in Kentucky. It is also known as scarlet maple, swamp maple, and soft maple. This tree can thrive on a wider range of soil types, textures, moisture, pH, and elevation than any other forest species in North America. It is a fast growing short to medium lived tree that seldom lives longer than 150 years. Red maple typically reaches maturity in 70 to 80 years. It is a medium sized tree that grows 60 to 90 feet in height and up to 30 inches in diameter. It is considered shade tolerant in the northern part of its range, but shade intolerant in the Piedmont. Red maple is one of the most widely distributed trees in eastern North America. It is a common tree throughout the entire eastern United States into the central part of the country. Red maple is important and numerous in many forest stands today, where it was found in limited numbers in the past. This increase is thought to be due to a combination of in an increase in disturbances such as disease and insects and forest harvesting, as well as fire suppression. Many foresters consider the tree inferior and undesirable because it is often poorly formed and defective, especially on poor sites. On good sites, however, it may grow fast with good form and quality for saw logs. Red maple is deciduous, with leaves oppositely arranged on the twig, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are simple in form, meaning made up of one blade, and the leaves have three lobes with shallow sinuses. Those are the indentations between the lobes. The lobes are palmate, which means the midribs radiate from one point at the base of the leaf, and you can see in the photo this leaf has three midribs that start at the base of the leaf at the petiole, and the margins are serrated or toothed. The upper surface of the leaf is green and the underside is somewhat whitened. In Kentucky, the other maple you may confuse with red maple based on the leaf is silver maple, which also is sometimes referred to as water maple. As you can see, the silver maple leaf has five lobes with very deep sinuses as compared to the red maple. Red maple browse is considered to be toxic to horses and cattle, especially during summer and fall. Brilliant fall coloring is one of the outstanding features of red maple. In the northern forest, its bright red foliage is a striking contrast against the dark green conifers and white bark and yellow foliage of the paper birches. In Kentucky, it's just as striking against the russet oaks, golden sugar maples, and deep greens of our pines. Red maple has long been a valued ornamental tree due to its brightly red-colored spring flowers, its reddish fruit, outstanding fall color, rapid growth, and ease of an establishment. It's a nice addition to any landscape. Red maple is one of the first trees to flower in the spring, typically several weeks before the leaves emerge. This species is polygamodioecious, which means some trees are entirely male, producing no seed, some trees are entirely female, and some trees are monoecious, which means bearing both male and female flowers. The top photo shows male flowers, and the bottom photo shows female flowers. Because of the abundance and wide distribution of red maple, its early produced pollen may be important for bees and other pollen-dependent insects. Red maple is primarily wind-pollinated, but insect pollination is reported to be important as many insects, especially bees, visit the flower. The fruit is a small paired Samara, which is a winged seed. In fact, red maple has the smallest Samaras of all native maples, only about three-fourths of an inch long. The Samaras have slightly divergent wings and hanging clusters. They are often reddish and they ripen to a light brown in late spring, many times before the leaves have even completely developed. Red maple is a prolific seed producing tree and trees as young as four years may begin to bear seed. Bumper crops are usually produced in alternate years and with a 12 inch diameter tree yielding nearly a million seeds. Seeds are wind dispersed and can germinate almost immediately. Because of early seed dispersal and almost immediate germination, red maple seedlings can become established with a three to four month advantage over most associated woody species. Several wildlife species eat or browse the foliage and twigs of red maple, including white-tailed deer, moose, elk, and snowshoe hare. It can be especially valuable to white-tailed deer during the late fall and winter. 
The seeds, buds, and flowers are also eaten by various wildlife species. Squirrels and chipmunks are known to store the seeds, and cavities in red maples that are in river floodplains are often well suited for cavity nesters such as the wood duck. Yellow-bellied sapsuckers, which are a type of woodpecker, are known to attack or peck holes into trees and larger woody shrubs, feeding on the bark, the sap, and the insects that are drawn to the sap. Red maple is a favorite of sapsuckers. The sapsuckers are attracted to previously attract trees and may return to the same tree year after year. Holes made by the sapsucker can provide points of entry for wood decaying fungi and bacteria, and the physical damage may weaken trees, making them more susceptible to secondary diseases and insects. The bark on young trees is smooth and light gray. As the tree ages and grows, the bark darkens and breaks into long, scaly plates. The tree's thin bark, especially on the younger trees, makes it very sensitive to fire. The wood of red maple resembles sugar maple, but is softer in texture and not as heavy. Red maple is considered a soft maple, and sugar maple is considered a hard maple. The sapwood of the red maple is most commonly used for lumber rather than the heartwood. Sapwood color ranges from almost white to a light golden or reddish brown, while the heartwood is a darker reddish brown. Red maple can also be seen with curly or quilted grain patterns. The wood is used for saw timber and pulpwood and occasionally used for veneer. The wood is also used for crates, pallets, musical instruments, and small specialty items. The sap can also be used for maple syrup, even though hard maples, such as sugar and black maple, are the principal species used for syrup production. Red maple sap has only about half the sugar content that is found in sugar maple sap. The national champion red maple is located in New Haven, Connecticut. It's 276 inches or 23 feet in circumference, 72 feet tall with a 68 foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion red maple is in Fayette County. It is 140 inches or almost 12 feet in circumference, 73 feet tall with a 72 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest Champion Tree National Register or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about red maple. The common name, red maple, is referring to the red twigs, buds, flowers, and fall leaves. The scientific species name for this tree is rubrum, which is Latin for red. Native Americans used maple as an analgesic and brewed the inner bark to treat coughs. Pioneers made cinnamon brown and black dyes from a bark extract. Red maple is the state tree of Rhode Island, and red maple makes up over 12% of all trees in Kentucky, according to the Kentucky Division of Forestry. I hope you've enjoyed learning about red maple and get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the resplendent red maple.